Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. Okay, quick recap. We're doing esoteric astrology reading. So the rising sign holds the clue to the soul's journey or intention. And the moon is to be the major liability of a person's chart, particularly after age 35. So this is slightly different than you would consider like a personal astrology, whereas the personality is the transformational aspect. In esoteric astrology, the soul is the transformational aspect. So there's different ruling planets in this and whatnot. So um, I will, I'm going to do a read on this and then I got to remember the link in the videos. They're not uploading at the moment. So I'm just going to keep making videos and then we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right, right. Okay. So Taurus is um, um, personally ruled by Venus. Um, but the esoteric ruler is Vulcan. And the, the saying for Taurus in the esoteric astrology is the desire to reveal the light of divinity hidden within form. And this goes to the hitting the bullseye. So Taurus is the bull. So hitting the bullseye is, um, it, that's where the, the saying comes from. And, um, so the Vulcan, if for those of you who don't know uh, who Vulcan is, it's the blacksmith of gods. Um, so that's, again, earth element, right? So um, kind of has dominion over gardens and ecosystems too, as well as revelation. So your mantra would be, I see. And when the eye is opened, all is illuminated. I see, and when the eye is opened, all is illuminated. Back to hitting the bullseye. Makes sense. So again, you're going to have Taurus all over the place in your chart. Maybe if we don't have anything in the Taurus rulership, it still rules over a house in your chart. So, but again, um, ascending and the moon especially after age 35 are going to come into huge aspects here so pay attention to those as well and let's get into it um i think what did i miss okay so this so this is going to be more of like um and this, these are this gentleman's words from theosophical society channel william meter is the one who gave this talk this is going to be an abstract of the higher self is kind of how esoteric astrology works because again this is a very personal journey and esoteric is within so whatever is happening internally for you we can give you kind of an understanding and objective as to what it could possibly be going into but only you can say for sure and again free will is, is a thing right but again esoteric is happening within exoteric is the stuff you read in books so everybody who's talking to you telling you well i went to school for this i read this in a book that's exotericism that's external esoteric is the things that are happening within yourself the things that only you know about so and all this is doing is adding some insight it's not giving you specific detail for detail it's just part of like an insight to the journey. It, it not giving you the details of how to do this, how to do that, blah, blah, blah. That's what esotericism is, not exotericism. So documented in a book, that's exotericism. What up, Taurus? How are we feeling? Okay, there we go. Taurus, esoteric. Astrology. That's it, that's all. Just two. Youngins, like Aries only gave me one. Okay. So you've got the High Priestess in the reverse, the Ace of Wands in the upright, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. That's in the roots you read. Six of Wands for the upright, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Let's 
So you're not quite there yet, because you're young yet. I don't know why that's coming to my brain. Ooh. I think this is Bertha. By, see that rune right there? Is it Bertha, Bertha? I can't. So the fairy ring companion. So you're just, it's like you're waiting on something. Like there's your desire, your wand here. Let's get some clarification. Aries, I could read right off the bat, probably because of my own planets is more. Taurus, you elude me a little bit some days. Just a smidgen. What's up, Taurus? Let's get this high priestess in reverse clarified, please. Where is where we at? Six minutes. Heck yeah, we got this. What's up, Taurus? What's up with this high priestess in reverse? The Taurus in that esoteric astrology. Nothing. Nothing doing. Okay. The mother of wands. Okay, so you're in protection mode here. Got a lot of wands. So, wands traditionally are those little tree sprouts, um, which is where your desire to put root stone stems from. It's not always what people perceive this to be, if that makes any sense. That's not, and this is called a burn moral. Not always what people perceive wants to be is that burning desire. Right now for you, this is where you wanna put roots down. This is where you desire to put roots down. And you can see victory and you desire to move in that direction, but you have things that you need to protect here. So this tells me because you're in that mode that you are keeping things secret here. You're keeping things below the surface. And a lot of times too, they would use um, wands, tree branches to, to um, make bows with. Right? Bows and arrows. Okay. So launching your yourself into your desires here. Into a victory. Now this this card right here has what looks to be like a mother or an authority figure ant here carrying this other ant into safety. And the nine of cups here you've got a little toad <laughs> under the surface making bubbles. So you're keeping emotionally sovereign and staying peaceful in your emotional waters here and waiting for this to kind of just settle in. Can I get the Ace of Wands clarified for Taurus astrology? Got it? Okay. There's your nine of uh your nine of cups in your roots too. Okay even though you're not receiving equal give and take. And maybe that's why you're keeping things protected and secret. It's because you are not receiving give and take either in your root system or on the outside. That's why you're, you're again, a hesitant to grow much above ground at this point. And it's early yet. Four of Pentacles, clarify the Father of Swords. Wow. The Tower in Reverse, slow change and saying no to the emotional cups of BS here. So you're not being tempted by anything outside of yourself. You're sitting with that. And, that, and that's going to make the Tower movement come in slow, subtle, gentle. That's, you know, your father of swords and your mother of wands are both in the upright here. You're keeping sovereign in your emotions here. And that always facilitates a slow, easy tower instead of this lightning bolt. 
you know, distributing the nitrogen and then the rain bringing it to the ground and facil facilitating growth through destruction. You're like, I see the storm coming, I'm not going to hang out outside. And lightning can fertilize what it needs to fertilize, but I'm not, I'm not going to be caught in the middle of it. Ooh, look at there. Enlightenment at the bottom. Ta-da. Ta-da, da 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 Okay, so the Six of Wands. Clarified for this. Esoteric energy. Astrology. I get the Taurus is esoteric astrology. Anything? Something? Anything? So the Three of Cups in reverse and the Son of Swords. Well, that's the Knight. So you are not seeking the companionship of others yet because you're you're getting mentally clear here about either a third party situation or you're again this is see the birds chirping here they're not talking to anybody about this you're waiting to come in with a mental clarity so Again, keeping keeping it secret, keeping it safe. And the Six of Wands, again, with her carrying that little ant there. Terrible fucking... There you go. Nope, still not working. But either way, she's carrying uh, somebody to safety here. So I think you're just keeping emotionally sovereign and peaceful until you find safety. Yeah. Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Father of Pentacles. Can you mean higher arcana here? Okay, so you've got all the elements working for you besides the water, but you're staying emotionally sovereign, so you don't need a mother or father of, of cups. You're emotionally sovereign. Everything else is... You're ruling over perfectly here. And you're not fighting your internal ghosts. I tell you what your ruling planet is? Classic. Yeah, the Vulcan. Okay. Um, think of um Star Trek. The I can't do it very well. That guy. That's where he's from. Spock. For the love of Christ. Taurus, what's up? What do you need to know for your esoterics? Alrighty then. Okay. Elder, which is wisdom. Palio Santo, guardian. Maybe that's what you're waiting for here. Or maybe you're embodying that. Tobacco, offering in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, you're not offering anything here because there's no equal give and take. Left and where are we at? Okay, we got time. We got time. What do you mean? Ready, set, grow. Okay, wisdom. Rising from the underworld, releasing, letting go, major transformation, higher wisdom, new perceptions, awakening to the truth. Also known as the queen of fairies or the queen of the underworld, Elder is steep in folklore and legend across many cultures. This tree is a symbol of sorrow, death, and deep magic. In Scandinavia, the tree is inhabited by a spirit called Heilgel Mor, I know I butchered that, sorry, I'm trying, or Elder Mother, who will punish you if you touch the tree or chop it down without properly thanking her. In the Bible, the cross on which Jesus was crucified was said to be made from the wood of a giant elder tree, and a remorseful Judas hung himself from an old elder tree. In the Middle Ages, Elder was used as protection against the witches, evil spirits, and un underworldly entities. In Celtic tradition, the Elder is associated with um, Samhain, a time of year to honor the dead, new beginnings, and the transformation. 
It has been used since ancient times as a blood cleanser, an antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and used for kidneys, liver, and digestive system. It is also used as a respiratory aid to prevent or recover from colds and flu. Astrology, um, astrologically, I'm sorry, since Elder encompasses the piercing duality of life and death along with supernatural properties, it falls under the gen general rulership of Pluto. To properly reap its medicine requires wisdom and if improperly used, it may cause death. When this wisdom is properly harvested, the strong protective actions of the immune system also greatly embodies Jupiter's archetype. Guidance, the elder, elder signals the end of a phase in life as well as the beginning of a major cycle. The queen of the underworld reminds us that the symbolic death that visits us often as we progress through our physical and metaphysical growth. Elder reminds us of how the blooming, how of the blooming we experience when we simply allow our old self to decompose. In giving new life, the old one needs to be torn apart and allowed to die. Don't resist it. Elder is a wise guardian, assisting us as we step through the doorways of darkness. There's that guardian word again. Allow yourself to be consumed by her mighty presence as the Dark Mother protects our spirit as it goes through the cycle of transformation. And again, Taurus, like right now, you done being, everybody's worried about Scorpio. And I'm like, dude, did you see the placements in Taurus right now? Like, bro. <laughs> Screw the new moon. Send Taurus a little help over there, would you? <laughs> You have all the things going on right now, Taurus, all of the things. And then some more of the things, and then those things also have things going on. It's okay. Paleo Santos here to help. Okay. Gifts from the past lives. Activating dormant gifts. Connecting to the ancestors. Guardian of the sacred and the sacred trickster. The ritualistic burning of Palio, Palo Santo, which translates to sacred or holy wood, can be traced back to the Incan Empire, where it was used as in spiritual ceremonies to cleanse the body and space of malignant darkness. To this day, it is used ritualistically among many indigenous communities throughout Central and South America, particularly to cleanse bad energy, bad air, and the evil eye. Mal de air translated to bad air, <clears throat> yet it is a a spiritual illness believed to be kind, a kind of cold nightmare air, nighttime air, created by malignant spirits that enters the body, causing pain, discomfort, sickness, and many other kinds of imbalances. In can medicine people used this wood in their religious rituals as a tool to neutralize negativity, rejuvenate the body, mind and spaces bring peace, balance, and good fortune, and achieve a better spiritual communication with their gods. Scientific studies now show that how Palo Santo can help relieve stress and anxiety, stimulate circulation, reduce joint and muscle pain, and uplift mood and the immune system. It is also proven to cleanse the space, dispel bacteria, and act as an insect repellent. Palo Santo's medicinal qualities are very plutonic in nature as it powerfully cleanses malignant energy while bringing being highly invoca invocatory and a perfect and perfect for strong intention setting palo santo has long history of use as a magic wand that unlocks innate gifts that have lain dormant inactive or blocked like wisdom intuition and sight to see into the past and past lives. Palo Santo is a protective wand that grants us the power of unlocking innate gifts that have laid dormant, inactive, or blocked. Palo Santo, like the fox, is here to assist you as a spirit guide who helps you navigate the spirit world. The so Secturon foxes, native to South American, nestle among the desert forests of Palo Santo for shelter living in symbiosis with these precious trees. 
Boxes are symbolic of the afterlife, invisibility, and the sacred trickster. Palo Santo neutralizes the venom of dark tricksters and alchemizes its poison into gold, becoming the sacred trickster. Palo Santo is here to remind you to activate your dormant gifts. You are a guardian of the sacred that has walked many paths. Now that you can neutralize the greatest of poisons and even outwit the smartest of tricksters. And boy, I'm surprised. That's the South Node and, and Pluto. I don't know, that feels like a Taurus card. Outwitting the trickster, that definitely feels like a Taurus card. You guys are, like, your intuition is uncanny. At least that's a, a, a trait that I tend to notice in, in many Taurus creatures that I've encountered. Um, you got this in reverse, but we'll read it. Upright is powerful, offering divine gift, invocation, respect, deep alignment with will and purpose. That's Taurus energy, definitely. Illusion. What's it like? Mars and Pluto. Dang. Okay. Reverse is illusion of power, power hungry, lack of respect, inner conflict, addiction, stuck in old habits, fear of failure. Tobacco is used among the indigenous groups across the Americas as an offering to the gods for smoke cleansing, as an offering to the spirits, as a sacred smoke at council meetings, and as a ceremonial juice during vision quests. Blech. Widely used as shamans in the Amazon called tobacaros, tobacco is considered a planta mastra, teacher, or a master plant. These plants are key to protective spirits and important allies and guides in the healing of humanity. In pre-Columbian North America, different tribes used tobacco ceremoniously, and the main difference between them and Central and South American tribes is that they smoke tobacco through a pipe. Various indigenous peoples from the Americas used tobacco for healing a wide range of ailments, such as earaches, snake bites, cuts, and burns, respiratory diseases. <laughs> No. <sighs> Fever, convulsions, nervous issues, urinary complaints, skin diseases, and parasites. Many traditions to hold that tobacco is a protective spirit given to humanity to enable communication with the spirit world. Tobacco is one of the ultimate ofrendas or sacred offerings to the spirit world. It has been placed on altars and traded among different societies for hundreds of years. It has been used by many indigenous peoples as a symbolic token for sealing peace among tribes. Across time, tobacco has been most commonly used as a smoke, but it can also be used as a strong purgative and an anti-inflammatory which further mirrors its Mars energetics. The gods of power are here to serve and they demand loving respect. Tobacco reminds us to utilize power compassionately. How we use and dis direct this power determines the quality of life. Offer your actions as a divine gift, selfless, selflessly and in service to the sacred. Grandfather Tobacco's protective and powerful energy lovingly opens the doorway to the spirit world. To those who ask with humility and respect. Don't allow the illusions of power to ignite destructive behaviors or propel you towards addictive habits. Okay. So again, everything in balance. This is not an excuse to start picking up bad habits. If you use it as a sacred tool of respect and honor, that's what it will be for you. If you choose to abuse it, that's what it will be for you. Again, a little bit of medicine goes a long way. Too much medicine, it becomes toxic in not only the mind and spirit, but also the body. Okay. Oftentimes, the great healing power um, is just a matter of doses between healing and poison. So keep that in mind when moving forward, Taurus. Um, 
And again, I'm not a doctor. I don't think smoking anything is a good idea. Um, you, can, you can get it in other ways, but that's just my humble opinion. I don't do well with those things. So, and again, protection is a thing. I mean, you don't have to, you know, smoke a cigarette. You can go outside and just a few little sprigs in, you know, your little cauldron thing will do the trick. You don't need to smoke an entire cigarette. You don't need to smoke at all. Okay. So, again, not a doctor. This isn't medical advice. It was never intended to be. I am here for your entertainment only, darling. Okay. Till next time, keep your flame.